about to leave Already packing, come with me I'm not really asking We'll get away to a place where we don't know Hey guys, what is up? My name is Sandra, welcome back to my channel if you have not been here before. Today we're doing a blue and purple makeup tutorial. Um, I wanna say this is a date night, but it is not. I am going out with one of my friends from a job I used to have a long time ago. And uh, this is the first time I've been out with her in probably like three or four years. It's been a long time. My husband is up at work, so it is kind of weird that I'm going out at all. So I feel really excited. Um, I feel a little nervous because this is a place where we had karaoke a long time ago. Um, the place we regularly went to, they were shut down for obvious reasons. And now they're open again. Um, only Fridays, so... Um, yeah, it's it's weird because there might be new people there. There might be, um, like, I, I kind of know who the host is, but yeah, it's just weird going back, but I'm excited anyway. So what we're going to do today, because it's going to be, be blue and purple, um, I'm going to do my eyes first. I never do that. I always do my makeup, but we're going to do eyes first. So what we're going to start with is an eye primer. This is by Sigma. It is the eyeshadow base primer in the shade Ignite. So I'm going to blend it out with my concealer blend. Wow, concealer brush. Um, this will help with a couple of things. It helps the eyeshadow stick better, and it also covers up all of the veins underneath. It kind of acts like a white nail polish before you put on color. It just kind of helps to hide the skin tone and kind of helps to make the shadow brighter. So we're gonna blend this out with my P84 Precision Angled Brush by Sigma. Sorry, my mom is here giving my daughter a bath, so if you can hear anything in the background, that is my mother talking. Okay, so now I'm going to have to be prepared to dirty up my brushes here. I don't even know if I washed them from the last time I did my makeup. Ooh, we'll see if the blue and the purple kind of overtake those colors. So I'm going to use Jeffree Star's Blue, Bud, Blue Blood palette. I love this palette. I haven't really used it in a long time. Um, I'm looking at this shade here it's really dark um but i do want something to kind of blend in with the oops as it all goes on the floor i want something to blend in with the purple i'm using and i'll show you that this royal purple here so this is shimmery i like this one too this is color pops it's my pleasure um this is one of my favorite purple palettes so let's see here I'll start with a clean one. This is an E25 by Sigma. So um, I'm going to start with a lighter shade in the crease because going into that dark one, I just feel a little nervous. So we're going to use the one called Blue Blood, which is this one here. All right, so I'm going to use this in the crease. I am wearing a blue shirt. I don't currently have it on, obviously, um, but I will be putting that on. So maybe what I'll do before I finish my final look I'll put that on and put my hair down just to show you what I look like before I actually, um, you know, end the video. Because I, I never do that and I probably should. So yeah, so we're just going to blow this look out. And again, we'll have to finish up the lower lash line once we are done with the rest of the makeup on the face. I will be doing that off camera just to save some time. So you can see that looks absolutely crazy. And need I remind you that this look is going to look crazy before I get my face done. Uh, once the rest of the face is done, it will, it will be, it'll appear a little bit more normal. Okay, so I think what I wanna do is I'll stick with the blue towards the middle and then towards the the inner part of the eye. And then as we get out, I'm gonna do more purple, I think. Um, we'll see, we'll see how it goes. I kind of like the idea of teal as well, but I think I like this color here on the lid. This one's pretty. So I'll start with that. Um, this one is called Ice Tray. I'm gonna use the same brush, just the other side of the brush and then tap it off. Okay, this is definitely shimmery. Oh, that is so pretty. That is the shade to transfer over to purple. So maybe that'll be like the blue shade on the lid for the night and then we'll transfer to purple. It almost has this like violet undertone. It's so pretty. Okay, so this is what it looks like up close. Again, crazy, but it will get better, I promise. So now, I like the idea of transferring to this and then that, but it doesn't make any sense, does it? 
um, or like this and then this, that would be pretty too. I just don't know how well it would go. So I think what we'll do is I'll transfer to this and then kind of maybe mix these two and just kind of see uh, what we're working with. I'm going to blend this into that blue color. Go a little bit by a little. Okay, so you can see I got a lot of fallout there. It's to be expected. I'm using a really shimmery purple here. Still kind of packing it on. Um, I just want it to be as opaque as possible. I will be wearing lashes, so a lot of the lashes will cover up this purple and blue. Okay, so now what I'm going to do, this is going to sound a little weird. I'm not going to really blend it out because I'm happy with what that is looking at like right now. Um, I will take a fluffy E35 brush and just lightly give it a light blend up here. We don't want to bring it too, too far. There we go. So yeah, um, I'm going to spray my eyes really quickly to hopefully that that shadow just stays put. And you don't need to worry about the shadow down here because I'm going to go off camera now. I'm going to go take a makeup wipe and clean up my face. I'm going to go ahead, do my entire face makeup. I'm not sure if I'll have my lips done or not. I might save that part to the end, but you will see everything done. And then uh, we'll come back and touch up the eyes, so the under eyes and do all of that stuff after. We will be right back. So my face is done, blush, everything is applied. I did spray my face with my setting spray a couple of times to make sure it was all good. Um, and then we have to finish up the eyes. So I have all these little brushes. The only ones that are Sigma are the Short Shader E20 and the Smudge Brush E21. This is a Beau, Car or Beau Cache brush. Um, I think I got it from Ipsy Glam Bag a long time ago. So just, I have everything out just in case, uh, whichever one I need. So I think I'm going to stick with purple um, on the bottom lash line because purple is just so beautiful. So I have to be really careful because I don't want this to... Um, go down below any more than it is. I just want it to stay exactly where I'm putting it. Um, I don't want any fallout at this point because I've done my makeup already. So I'm using the smudge brush to smudge it into the eyeliner. You'll see I did use an eyeliner on the water lines and that was the Morphe liner um, and it was called Dark Room. It's just like the pencil liner. It is one of my very favorite liners to use. I used to sell Avon a long time ago and um, yeah, I used to use my Avon, but I'm almost, I've run out of almost all of them. So that's why I've been getting different, uh, different products lately. Okay. So I put that, you can see there, it's kind of like a line underneath. I'm going to take a little bit of a fluffier brush now. So we're going to go in with the short shader. I'm going to go in with the shade Do or Doe, but Do or Doe, yeah, this color here. So it's much more of a um, iris shade I guess and kind of blend out or smudge out that purple okay and then we need an even smaller brush so this is an E27 a little bit more fluffy again I'm just going to go around the perimeter of that color and blend it out And I think that's good. Um, now I wouldn't mind having like a really bright blue. I wouldn't mind going back into blue blood. Let's see what we have there. And putting that same color that I have on the top, that sparkly color, putting that on the bottom. Um, let's see. So I'll take that Beau Cache brush now. Go into, it's called Ice Tray. And just apply this to the lower. This is really sparkly. I love the shimmer in this color. And it's really, really pretty. 
Okay, you guys. So, um, I think that's it for that. I'm going to go in with the highlighter. Mary Lou by the Bomb, my favorite highlighter ever. And I need to find my tiny little uh, lip brush. It's kind of like a tiny pencil brush for me. Put this on the inner corner. When I already have shades like this on my eye, um, instead of like putting it on and then blending down, I blend into the shade so that it doesn't bring it down further onto my, um, anywhere in my eye where I don't want it. Also, I will put a little bit right here. Then take my highlighter brush for my face. Highlight my cheekbones. So even though I finished up my eye makeup itself on camera, I am going to go off like I usually do to do my mascara and lashes. And when we come back, um, I'll probably already have my lips done to be honest as well because um, I'm kind of running into a rush now and I need to get going. So uh, I'll show you the completed look. And once we do that, then we will put on the proper top of my hair down and I'll show you what the completed, the completed ensemble. We will be right back. Okay guys, so eyelashes are done, mascara is done. Um, I used this style here, it is the 3D Faux Mink Lash. Um, they're uh, multi-dimensional lashes, I got them from Winners or Marshalls. And this is the style Sin City. These ones right here, these are older ones that I used. Um, so yeah, they do cover up a big portion of the eye, but you can still see that it's like purple and, and blue. It's gonna match perfectly with my shirt, which I'll show you guys in a minute. I also realized I need to put some earrings or something on. So to finish off my lips, I did line my lips with two pencils. First one was, I think it was a Love Bite by Morphe. And then the other one was Celebrity Skin by Jeffree Star on the inside and then I'm going to fill in my lips with the cream lipstick by Morphe in the shade Flirt and then I top them with the gloss Boho and these are both by Morphe. I talked about them in a previous makeup video. Um, it's like a part of a nude collection. You can get three different colors of nudes. This is one of the lightest ones I think. So all I do with this is tap it onto the middle of my lip. Just like that so it's completely nude and then I put on the lip gloss so it don't feel like overly dry or uncomfortable and that's pretty much it so you just have to remember if you are wearing lip gloss that it will transfer and it will like go onto glasses and stuff so just be mindful of that because that's why liquid lipstick is perfect for going out because it doesn't transfer and the problem is sometimes it can feel a little uncomfortable so yeah so I think this lash is going to stay I did have to kind of like check it a few times but like I think it looks pretty good. So I'm going to give my face one last mist of setting spray and then I will um, let down the hair, put on the clothes and I'll show you what the completed look looks like. Okay, Ooh. we'll let that, let that air dry a little bit. Okay, we'll be right back. So this is the completed look. I don't have a necklace currently on and uh, I'll probably just put my hair to the side or something like that but it kind of is a little curly because I have my hair up in this clip and I just kind of twist it. It's so long so it just twists really really well. But I have these little star earrings here and then this is my top so it's got like a lot of blue in it. So that is my look for tonight. I'll probably take some pictures later with my friend so maybe we'll post them on Instagram and you guys can see us there. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. If you're new here please subscribe, click on the bell button and we'll talk to you next week. Bye friends. Already packing, come with me. I'm not really asking, we'll get away. To a place where we don't know